you know like when drummers uh take their stuff out <laughs> to the edge of a cliff and then they or the woods or something and they play drums for no reason like i i don't i don't understand <laughs> why do you do that that doesn't make any sense like maybe if there was a video concept i get it but i mean i get that it's a cool location but does anybody even like moving their drums in the first place <laughs> much less you know i don't know put them on dragging them into the woods would you get like a, one of those things where you you know get two pieces of wood and an old piece of burlap sack and drag your drums into the wood <laughs> for the video shoot i don't know that makes you sound like a jerk but i think you get what i'm talking about what i actually wanted to talk about was the role of a drummer in a band um but this is a nice view i think that's what i was trying to say in the first place before it sounded like i went elitist jerk which I didn't, but I just don't get that. Anyway, it's fine. I appreciate it. It certainly looks visually stunning, but I don't want to do it. I hiked up here by myself I'm up on the top of this kind of tower thing out in the woods, which is super cool. Uh, anyway, but what I wanted to talk about was kind of the role of drummers. As drummers, we are um, the, the people and rhythm section players, bass players, sometimes keyboard players and guitar players, but mostly it's a lot of, very much so drummers and bass players. Our job is to help other people sort of realize their dreams, their, have their vision come true, put their sound out into the world. And that's kind of our, our job, you know, to help them do a thing. And so I, I, I like to keep perspective on that and just know that my role is a supportive one. And I'm not the star, it's not about me. It's about um, this these other people who are creating this vision and sort of whatever's being put out, whatever message the music is trying to do, whether that be I'm in a recording studio and I'm dealing with someone that, you know, maybe they spent their whole life writing these 10 songs and now they're recording their album. And even if maybe it's not my cup of tea, you know, I'm not going to think these songs are stupid or whatever. Cause I think that somehow that translates and goes out into the music because I've done that before. I've definitely showed up to situations without a good attitude. I have. And it, man, it shows. And I've been called out on it before. So it's something that I try to be aware of and maintain best I can. And, you know, say these people worked on these 10 songs their whole lives. It's really important to support that, I think. And I just get on board for whatever their vision is, you know. So, you know, if they do tell me to play more blue, I, I try because I'm trying to, you know, realize this them for them, you know, and they've worked on this stuff their whole lives and it's important to them. So it's important to me. That's something that I really try to do. Uh, you know, and that could even be the case, say I'm whatever, playing like at a church or something like that, you know, and I'm not a particularly religious person at all. I'm not, which is fine if you are. I have some spirituality stuff, but not that. But I go and I realize the purpose of this music is really to support the message for what's going on that day, you know, and so I try to do the best I can, you know, and I may not be involved in every prayer that's happening, but I get the idea that in general, if they're trying to do something that's good and there's a message, so I'm trying to kind of be on board for that the best I can and not have an attitude. You show up like, you know, I don't believe in this thing or whatever. I don't like these songs. You know what I mean? It's just, it's all over your face because trust me, I, <laughs> like I said, I've been called out on it. So it's just a nice thing for me to keep in mind. And, you know, if I can sneak in my own style or my own little thing, then I can do that. Or or if it, what I'm doing sneaks is a bad word. If, if what I do creatively might enhance what's happening, then that's fantastic. Or I find a spot, great. Otherwise, you know, my role is definitely a chameleon. I'll play a blues gig or a country gig, or I'll play some jazz in a, a big band, or I'll play a church gig or whatever it is. And I'm just trying to play in that style the best I can so that everything just sort of flows and it's seamless. If people don't even notice I'm there and we're just playing along, man, that is the ultimate goal. You know, if no one turns around and looks at me, if they just say, man, that was easy. Everything went great today. And they're not even necessarily speaking to me I, I i don't need to know why and you know it may or may not have been me but i'm not kind of voicing it. <laughs> probably because something i did <laughs> you know <laughs> i mean <laughs> you know you check the ego at the door as they say i don't like catchphrases that much but in any event that really i think is the key so uh, if i want to do my own thing great and then i should start my own band and then i have people come in and find people that are willing to respect my dream as much as i was willing to respect theirs and in the meantime I just sort of have to mind my place and know that, you know, as a drummer, I'm just uh, uh, working in different things. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a regular, I'm a, I'm a journey, I'm a carpenter, I'm an electrician, I'm a plumber. I'm just trying to do my job, uh, make a living, get paid and do as good a job as I can. So anyway, the end. <laughs>